Hey YouTube. So here we are tonight. I'm going to make a stack text sign. Um, so I just want to generally show you how I'm going to do this. I'm kind of making this for a friend, but I thought if I'm making it, might as well let the whole world see it. So we're going to look at, I'm using Vetric 8.5. I've not upgraded to 9 yet. So I'm going to set my width. My overall size of this project is going to be 23 by 7. So I'm going to set my sizes. Just to give me a little bit of room, I'm going to set 24 by 8 by 1 inch thick. We're going to use inches. I'm going to have my zero position in the center. And there we go. So now I'm going to just, um, I'm going to draw a rectangle that's 23 by 7. That's the final size of my project. And I do this so I can have that little guy there and I can see my entire project. Okay, so from there, this is layer one. So this is where it gets a little hairy for, for folks that haven't done this. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this. We're going to right click and we're going to rename this layer out outside border. And cool. And then we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer called in. Oops, inner border. So now we're on inner border. Now we actually have both of them lit up. Now this little light bulb says you got these layers turned on. So if we click this little light bulb. That, that box is going to disappear because what's on this layer is the that line. Now as far as the inner border, there's nothing there yet, but I'm on inner border right here where it's highlighted. This is the layer that I'm working on now. So anything I add to this layer will stay inside there unless I move it. So I'm going to highlight this guy and I'm going to offset this inwards. So we're going to go inwards, one inch, Boom. Okay, so that's probably a little, a little far. So I'm going to undo that and change it to 0.75. There we go. All right, so that's going to give me a little bit more room. Mm, kind of thinking maybe that might be a little too much too. So let's undo that. Let's do it a half. There we go. That's I like that a little better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this. I'm going to go to this rectangle. I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to external radius that, or I'm sorry, internal radius that. Uh, probably about 0.5. I'm just getting a general look at this point. Yeah, I mean, that looks okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's all done. So that gives you the general appearance of what this sign is going to look like. I personally am not going to drill holes. There's there's a nice little way that you could drill holes in the corners of these. I, I may do it eventually, but for now I'm not going to. Okay, so we have outside border. See if you unclick that, that thing disappears. Inner border disappears. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer. And that's going to be our names on the top. So when you look at these stack text signs, we're looking for the, um, the actual names. So we're going to say top names and close. So now we're on top names. I'm going to do... All right, the, the two names that I'm looking for is Laura and Cody. So we're going to go ahead and use this um, script. Here we go. Said, okay, so I'm going to say Cody and Laura. And I really don't care how big it is at this moment. I mean, I'll, I'll make it an inch because I'm going to change it anyway and see how big it is. All 
Okay, so that's that's good, but obviously I'm going to change that. I'm going to make that a little bit different. Okay, let's see here. So I'm going to stretch him out a little bit, center that up by using F9. Maybe a little bigger. I don't really ultimately want this in the dead center. That looks pretty decent. Um, I kind of like the height. Let's squish that in a little bit. F9 center. Okay, I'm digging that. That fills in pretty nice. Okay, so obviously with this kind of script, you see all these. I'm going to zero in here. All these connections here. We got to fix that. And how to do that is we're going to convert this to curves. All right, so here we go. We're going to highlight that. Hit convert to curves. Done. You see now everything's selected individually. So to do this, we're going to weld all these things together. So I'm going to highlight all that, but the inner circles, the O and the D and the A and this D and this A and this A. There we go. What we're going to hit is this weld selected vectors. I'm going to kind of hover over that so you can see which one is weld selected vectors. And what that's going to do, boom, there we go, is now you see all these letters are connected. So they're, see that there? You don't have those um, vectors interrupting. So it's welded it together. So it's one piece now. Okay, so we're going to go back to this. And that's our top names. Okay, so the next layer, we need to add a new layer now, which is add new layer, bottom. Bottom names. And you see when I close that up here, I don't think you can see my actual cursor. That's why I'm trying to highlight there on the left. We're on bottom names now. So just to understand layers a little bit better, now if I turn off top names, they disappear. I can turn off the inner border. I can turn off the outer border. And I can turn them back on by clicking the light bulb. OK. But what we're, the layer we're working on right now is now bottom names. And close. Okay, so for purposes of doing this, I'm gonna unclick top names because I wanna I don't want that to be in my way. Now these folks last name. I'm sorry, forgive my delay, I have to look on my phone. Okay. Myers. Now I'm going to do this in just big, bold, you know, big Times New Roman because I want that to kind of stand out in the background. And we're going to do it in all caps. Myers. We're going to select uh, Times New Roman. And you can size this any way you like. Okay, so I, right there I don't care about the size because I'm going to modify it the way I want it. We're going to stretch it out make it kind of big. And center that. Kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Stretch her out. Stretch it out there a little bit more. And then if I want to see, because I want to make some room on the bottom to add other names. Okay, so I'm coming up on about 10 minutes. So I'm going to have to cut this and come to the next. Uh, my software only does 10 minutes at a time. So see you on the next video.